hello everyone welcome to ai anytime channel in this video we are going to build a rag application retrieval augmented generation imagine you have your own documents and you want to build a system where you can just retrieve information from those particular document or set of documents that you have and the cherry on the cake is that you can do this without writing any code okay now imagine if you don't know how to build a rag system but if you want to you know try it out you want to test some feasibility how we can do that now not everybody is uh, like an ai expert or a coder who can build these kind of applications tools systems whatever you call it and that's where you know low code no code tools comes in so examples are like flowwise gumloop defi etc now in this video we are going to look at vectora which is like which is vectora is like uh, you know as a, like a company as a startup they recently have raised 25 million series a for they released an llm called Mock, mockingbird or something you have to check that but they are one of the first who have been working on the grounded generation which is like nothing but ground the tool or the program or the system you know uh, uh, ground on the data that you have so it does not go outside of those data or the context the vector have been doing this for a while you know i think they are one of the first in the race to do that for enterprises so we're going to use vector uh, low code no code platform for the vector database and we're going to use flowwise which is like uh, uh, which is which is a low code no code tool to basically help you build ai applications you can use make.com you can use gumloop you can use defi you can use any other tools like this so let's jump in and see how we can do that now if you look at here on my screen i am on flowwise github repository have around 30000 stars one of the one of the most rated repo i'll say to be honest okay 15000 fork 20 30000 star and this is great drag and drop I think they're also part of YC, Y Combinator. And YC kind of keeps, you know, like uh, selecting these kind of startups. So if you are someone who is working in this field, maybe you can, you know, they, they I think YC invested in Gumloop. They also, you know, selected Flowwise. So, you know, it's a good chance. Okay. Now, on the Flowwise, pretty simple. And here is a Vectra. You can see Vectra thingy. We'll go to Vectra in the last. Okay. Uh, it's a trusted Gen AI platform for all builds. This is completely for someone who does not have a lot of coding expertise. Someone who you know, just want to try out some huge cases, check the feasibility of your cases. The video is for you. If you are an expert, you should not waste your time, you know, watching this video. Okay. Now let's jump in here. So uh, how can you get started with this? Your machine that you are using should have node installed. If you don't have node installed, node.js, you have to go and you know install node. So what I'm doing here, I'm doing two things. You know, in my terminal, I already have run that. So I'll just show you. I'm doing npm install. Okay, npm install hyphen g flow wise. You can see I'm installing it. Once you install, it takes a bit of time. It has to add a lot of packages and modules. And then you have to do npx flow wise start. So first is to install and then is to use npx flowwise start and once you do that this will start this app on port, uh, on port 3000 that's called flowwise ai you can see it's running locally called localhost 3000 and this is what it is now so far now if you open this you have dark and light theme here so for example if you want to keep it light it's fine and you can do this dark as well now here you have few things you have chat flows agent flow so it's in beta mode right now it's in beta they are like working on agent flows like building agentic workflows on flowwise similarly has been done with d5 if you want to build ai agents low code no code i will recommend to use d5 which is better than flowwise in my views so you can use d5 ai for building to build agentic workflows and you can also use crew ai and all you know that those are good but i will recommend that if you are someone who is really looking forward to and or do something crazy in this space build your own ai agent framework or build an ai agent from scratch now here we have marketplaces so other people you know who have built something some connectors you know some chatbots you know whatever that has been created here similarly you can find it out on gumloop and defi as well this is like this is like the catalog or the marketplace you have tools you can create tools here you know you can also load you know you can hear if you have some tools created you have assistants 
and here you can set credentials you can look at this we'll we'll, we'll talk about that now first let's create a chat flow chat flow is something we're going to create and flow a uh, workflow that where we're going to drag and drop some components and stitch it together and that's what we're going to do the first thing is that let's click on add new and here i've added new you can see this is what i have added now here you have to click on this plus icon once you click on this plus icon it will show you to add nodes okay now it has a lang chain llama index and utilities lang chain and llama index are the orchestration frameworks where you know you can use these high level abstract classes or functions to build ai applications faster now imagine you know you have all the raw materials you know and uh, recipes given you just have to you know use all the raw materials and look at the recipe and just to use use to bake a pizza or something like that okay now this is what lang chain is and same goes with llama index they have their own pros and cons not going into it now first thing that you're going to search is pdf file so let's just search pdf and you can see i have pdf so let's just drag and drop now if you look at the pdf i'm going to use this pdf something called clinical medicine it's a textbook of you know like for medical students you can take any other data you can take law use cases you can take real estate use cases you can take medical use cases you can take any other use cases you guys you want now here i have this pdf i'm going to use that pdf so first is pdf file because this component is required because i have to upload the pdf file that's why i am using this component if you have an excel sheet you have to use excel csv docx you know markdown etc now what i'm going to do is i'm going to also search for now now once you have pdf i'm going to use vectora okay you can see i'm going to use you know vectora so you have two things here okay let me search right vectora now you have a qa chain and then you have a vector store if you have a vector store and you have a qa chain so i'm going to use with the vector store not right now with qa chain we're going to use conversational qa chain now if you look at this we have in the left hand side a pdf file and i'll make this a bit a bit smaller cool now you you see this document this document has to get connected with this document because this accept an input and this has to go through an output so if you look at this i can just connect this thingy here so let me just connect now these nodes have been connected with each other the flow right now is that this left hand side pdf file will accept an input and then that input will be passed uh, that input will become an output here as a document and that will be passed to the next input to vectora as a document that you can see it over here now once we have done if you look at here in the uses we have two things one document per page one document per file i think one document per page is good for now so let's keep that as it is and you can also bring up a text splitter if you want you know here but i'm not interested in that for now so here pdf file is okay and this is like you have to create a credential we're going to do that in a bit first let's create our workflow and then we set the credentials now if you look at the output of this node which is nothing but called vector retriever which is like you know your embeddings that are being stored in a database that's called vector database or a vector store depending on uh, what kind of compute or infra that you have now here you have vector retriever if you look at this it has vector vector store and a vector retriever let's keep vector retriever as it is now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a new component so let's add a new component and i'm going to have a conversational retrieval qa chain so let's search that here and you can see conversational retrieval qa chain that's what i'm going to use and i'm going to add this here conversational retrieval qa chain now if you look at the output of the second node it's the retriever and this chain also accept an input called vector vector store retriever so let's just add that here so that's what i'm going to add now you can see i have added i'll make this a bit down guys and you have additional parameters so if you click on that you can find it out some prompt templates etc let's click return source documents true and now what we can have is let me see i'll make this probably here now we need a chat model you see this chat model now you can use a self hosted model which is running through olama you can also use uh, you know grok you can use gemini you can use cohere you can use hugging face you can use open ai so let's see here what do we have so if you look at here i'm going to search for grok 
and if I just say group chat you can see I've, I've just I just did group chat I'll make this a bit down and now I'm going to connect this flow to the group chat and probably I'll yeah let's make this guy here okay. and now this is looking better okay cool so this is our workflow so i think we are good with our workflow guys so for a very basic workflow now we started with a pdf file and we connected it with vectora and then we have a conversational retrieval qa chain and then we have group chat that's what we have so far now the next step is to basically you know create credential and add the credential so let's do that here so you can see i'm already on group cloud and i have my api keys here and i configured that api key so let's go here and you can see i have created an api called key Grok underscore API underscore key. Now you just have to click on create new and you can create it like here. Okay, this is how you can do it. Now I'm you can use any other model you want depending on what kind of you know access you have. Now we are good with this. So what I'm gonna do is let me just make it a bit. Yeah, this is fine. Now the next thing is that I'm gonna probably go into Vectora. So you can see I'm already logged in in Vectora. You just have to go on console.vectora.com and then create a corpus. If you look at in the left hand side, we have something called corpora. I mean, it everything they have RA like vector, so vectora, corpus to corpora, ragara or something for rag or agentra for agent or something that probably they have to do it. You know, but let's uh, do a create corpus. Now here I'm going to create a corpus. I'll say decide later. You know you have chat sem summarize semantic search semantic search i'm going to decide later and we can give a name so let's give a name here i'm going to call it demo app simple app embedding model i think i'm okay with vector legacy model that is fine you know our our earliest embedding model created in 2020 okay and then you have filter attributes these are all fine advanced option these are good now create corpora now once you click on create corpus you can see your corpus has been created over here now just click on data now once you have the data you know you can upload a file uploader so let me just do that and here i'm gonna upload my files and let me just upload that file here you can see i've uploaded a pdf file it says total one succeeded failed and file has been come you know uh, one by one file uploaded for corpus 3 and now if you look at this setting there are some settings of course this is a free version guys if you want to use all the features that vectora provides you need a paid version for that but i don't want to pay any money here so this is fine this is a query now if you look at the application type we have semantic search we have chat we have summary and in the hybrid search enable hybrid hybrid is nothing but both based on sparse vectors and dense vectors like embedding based vectors and key keyword based vectors so sparse is more keyword based based on bm25 retriever fast is famous for that guys you know you would have seen hybrid drag and all like they're all people have hyped up guys you know to be very honest and everybody is trying to take advantage of generative ai you know everybody's trying to fool each other you know it's such a hype technology to be honest okay it's not that it's not that hype to be it's like very algorithmic and very fundamental you know based on bm25 retrievals based on dense vectors which is not sparse and blah 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 that's what hybrid search is now you have re-ranking where you have to because llm has issues with lost in middle lim look at the stanford research we said and it's common sense because it's all boiled down to attention if you have a larger context you know like multiple context llm has the tendency to forget the first and the last context it, it sorry it forgets everything which is in the middle it only looks at the last and the first context that's called you know lost in the middle attack that's what lim is so now if you look at here okay maximum marginal relevance re-ranker this is re-ranking and this is the result context now if you if you look at this document you know i can ask a question here like uh, what kind of question we can ask uh wait, let me copy this and see if it's able to fetch anything yeah you can see it's working so i just i just said ways in which a diagnosis can be made and it has given me you know different uh context here the retrieved documents and with their confidence score and if you go to ux preview you can find out ways in which you can look at the ux over here with the doc id blah 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 data 
you know checking for data this is the data that i have given you can upload more data this is the settings now you can change the filter attributes i'll keep it same now here i'm going to create an api key i'm going to give it a name called demo key and i of course i will delete this after this video yeah and then this is fine query service and let's create what the hell is this okay let me let me come here now and create new and vector customer id vector corpus id vector api key so i'm going to give the key let me see what are the corpus id and all let me go to settings oh let's come here and let's call it vectra api this is fine now i need two things customer id and corpus id customer id and it should be in settings somewhere to or let me go to corpora let me go to corpora here which is demo app okay id is 3 so let me just put here 3 and custom corpus id and now we have what the hell is customer id vector customer id enabled key demo app that is fine and then it need a customer id is it somewhere here yeah here is the customer id and let me just save this add now you can see the credential have been added now here let's upload the file and by the way i already have uploaded created that so you can just append that so let me just do it here you can now upload the file and you can see it over here now our workflow is complete now we just have to save and run this and you will basically accept the output let me just get the temperature value a bit less guys here 0 0.7 and now you can see the workflow has been completed and i just have to save and run it all right guys now you can run this uh, app so you have to first save this you can save the chat flow and once you save the chat flow you have to just click on this it says hi there how can i help you just come here and say tell me about you know etiology of cardiac disease or something and if you ask this question you know it says etiology of cardiac disease according to the provided information so now it's it's grounded you know it's not coming from the llm's base knowledge it's coming from the document that you have uploaded it says according to the provided information the etiology of cardiac disease can be linked to several factors blah 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 and you can have a look here this, this is great not also giving you that let's ask some other question here uh, let me uh, let me see some tough questions myocardial disease what is myocardial disease now i'm expecting you can see and we are using grok chat which is extremely fast based on lpu and you can see sorry tensor processing unit okay according to the provided information myocardial disease discussed in document 0 and 1 document 0 mentions and of course creates different document you can see it's grounded gives you the answer from the context that you have now what you can also do you can embed this in website or use as an api so if you are using python you can use request module to basically use this you can look at this here basically takes your api url and you can just do that you can also embed this in a website which will be like embedded chatbot into your website or application you can also share this chatbot you can look at over here as a marketplace and you can also share it wherever you want this is how easy it is guys to build a chatbot to try it out this is not the production level chatbot at all you need ops logging monitoring better semantic chunking retrievals whatnot but this is good for a starting point if you want to build something faster and test the feasibility of your huge case i hope you like the video if you like the video hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channel that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one